If you would like to add some detail or roundness to your object's edging or corners, you could use the bevel tool. Here's a cube that we'll work with. Now the bevel tool will work on any polygonal component, whether it's a face, an edge, or a vertex. I will show you how it works with faces first. I'll go to the component mode and click faces and select my top face. Now bevel tool is located under edit mesh and down to bevel. These are the default settings that Maya gives us for the bevel tool. You will definitely want to change these depending on the look you need for your object. The first one you'll want to change is the offset. As I change this number, you can see what this option will do. It expands or reduces the size of our bevel. It will either make it a much rounded edge or if we shrink it down, it will create a sharper edge for our object. The next option you'll want to work with is the segments option. This is the one that will add more edge loops and definition to that bevel. As we change the segment number, it adds more detail to this bevel, creating a smoother transition. I'm going to create another cube and move this over to show you what happens if you have multiple faces selected. When we worked with this bevel, we only worked with the top face, a single polygon. I'm going to change the subdivisions on this object so we have more polygons to work with on the top. So I'll go to face and select just my top surface. So right here, instead of having just one polygon, we have nine. And let's go up and perform a bevel on this. Everything looks good. And if we do our offset, you can see that the bevel is applied to every edge on each of those polygons. So that may be what you're looking for, and it may not be. I wanted to make everyone aware that if you have multiple faces, it will perform a bevel on each face. Let's go around this object and we will perform a bevel on some edges. So let's right click and select edge and double click on the edges that we would like to apply a bevel to. And when you double click on your edges, it will select an entire edge loop or all of the edges that are connected to each other. So now that our edges are selected, let's go up to Edit Mesh and Bevel. And again, let's go to the offset and adjust the size of our bevel. And we can change our segments. Let me delete this cube and come back. And let's apply a bevel to the vertex on the bottom of this object. We will right click and select vertex. Let's grab these two and go up to apply a bevel on the vertices that we selected. If we zoom in here, you can see the effect that we get. Again, we can adjust the offset to change the size of our bevel, and we can come in and adjust the number of segments that will add detail and roundness to our bevel.